In today's video, I'm gonna show you how to set up a planted aquarium. I'm gonna keep this super simplistic and to the point. Learning how to set up a planted fish tank is extremely easy. I just feel like people overcomplicate it and I'm gonna simplify this for you. By the way, my name's Chris and this is my channel, Palmer Aquatics. I'm completely obsessed with aquariums and house plants. Please consider subscribing if you also like that stuff. Let's be friends. All right, step number one to setting up a planted aquarium is to realize a planted tank is essentially the same as any other fish tank, except we have live plants in it and there's a couple of variables that we have to change. So we need to set up all the fish tank basics. Get yourself an aquarium, fill it with water, get yourself a filter, a cycle, cycle your aquarium properly. Without that, we have nothing. Now that we have thought past the idea of having a basic aquarium set up, now we need to modify this aquarium to make it eligible to hold live plants. Step number two, we need to modify the filtration. A lot of people don't know this, but most aquarium plants don't like a lot of water movement. And a lot of those hang on the back filters. You know, if your aquarium filter sits on the side of it or the back of the aquarium, and it's constantly running and pushing a lot of current into your aquarium, chances are the aquarium plants aren't going to do well with it. We want as little water flow as possible. So what this means is sponge filters. The reason we use sponge filters is because there's not a lot of water flow or surface agitation at all. And I always advise people, if you're gonna buy a sponge filter for a planted aquarium, get the kind that sticks to the side of the glass and the, the output of it points at the water surface because that way the water surface is just kind of moving a little bit. And I can hear some of you guys freaking out. Well, I can use a hang on the back filter, right? The answer is probably, but I gotta say, I've had the most success using these sponge filters that stick to the side of the aquarium dual out or dual sponge filters is what they call on Amazon I'll throw a link in the description step number three is aquarium lighting if we're gonna set up a planted aquarium we need to change the lighting this is a huge deal everybody tries to save a nickel by getting the cheapest light or just throwing any light on the tank guys listen to me closely and listen clearly Get yourself a planted LED light. Spend $30 to $100 on a decent light because it means everything when it comes to a planted aquarium. One of my favorite lights on the market right now is the Hyger LED Planted. I'll throw a link to it below. It's a budget light, it doesn't break the bank, and it gets the job done like thoroughly. I absolutely love these lights. And if you wanna get technical, ideally you want a color spectrum between six to 7,000 Kelvin as far as feeding those aquarium plants with the color spectrum of the lighting. Number four on the list for how to set up a planted aquarium is aquarium substrates, or also known as the gravel or sand. When it comes to setting up planted tanks, there's a million options, and this is where a lot of people get overwhelmed. Honestly though, to keep it simple, you can grow plants in gravel, pure gravel. You can grow plants in pure sand. The problem with gravel and sand is there's no nutrients in there to feed the plants. So that being said, there are certain plants, and you gotta do your research. If you have a gravel aquarium, there's certain plants that can grow in gravel, or just sand, just do your research. I have videos on this. I'll try to link them in the description, but guys, some substrates um, most of the tanks in my house are soil setups it's super easy it's cheap um, I'll throw a link in the description of that as well at the end of the day though as far as aquarium substrates for plants the big difference is how much nutrients is in that substrate you know like obviously soil is gonna have a lot more nutrients than just like sand because there's absolutely no nutrients but that being said you got to be careful because the nutrients in the substrate can sometimes get sucked into the water column and that can be an issue algae blooms ammonia poisoning etc so let's recap this how to set up a planted aquarium get yourself a glass box an aquarium fill it with the substrate of your choice i prefer soil capped with sand over the top of it again i have a video or a link i'll throw in the description you can use gravel you can use stratum there's so many products but guys don't overcomplicate that because it's it doesn't have to be complicated um get yourself a sponge filter a dual sponge filter that sucks to the side that way you're not getting too much flow in the planted aquarium and also the light guys get yourself get on amazon it's not hard spend just spend some money because the light is so crucial to setting up your planted tank 
And I know it can be overwhelming when setting up a planted aquarium. What I always advise people to do is start small. Just trial or experiment a 10 gallon aquarium. Maybe you set it in your office or on the kitchen counter. Just start small and start experimenting because I can guarantee you if you start small and see some success, it's gonna snowball and you're gonna become absolutely obsessed. And then maybe you switch over your 55 gallon tank in the living room to a planted tank because now you have perfected it. Another variable that complicates the situation of setting up a planted tank is the fact that plants grow differently. You know, there's tons of different plants in the hobby. You know, some of them are root feeders so that you need more nutrients in the soil or the substrate versus some other plants are water column feeders or like rhizome plants, you know, like you really kind of have to just do your due diligence on researching individual plants and just, you know, if you're gonna do a setup, just you either gotta choose. Are you gonna do water column feeders, you know, rhizome plants like java ferns and stuff like that? Or are you gonna do substrate and go with heavy root feeders? My advice to you though is to start small. Get yourself a 10 gallon aquarium, buy a cheap light, get a little sponge filter. Like it's super cheap if you start small and then you'll start to see success with setting up your planted tank. Two quick notes before you guys go. Number one, when you buy your new aquarium plants, chances are when you plant them, they're gonna die back. So just don't give up, don't pull them out, don't throw them away, leave them in there, pull off the dead leaves. Chances are they will come back. It just takes months and months. You gotta be extremely patient it's called melting plants melt because what happens is they're in a new scenario a new tank a new ecosystem and they have to get used to the new lighting the parameters and what they do is they completely die back and then they grow into new healthy plants what you can do to cut back on your aquarium plants dying or melting is to actually buy the plants from local fish keepers you know get on your local facebook aquarium groups and just try to find someone that has plants for sale this is awesome because the plants are used to your local waterways, you know, because that's the same water that's in your aquarium and the plants have a much higher chance of survival and chances are they're just going to do a lot better because that's the water they're used to. That's the biggest reason why most aquarium plants melt back. My last tip before you guys go, think about raising your aquarium plant light above the aquarium some. Every tank light in my house is raised between six to 10 inches above the aquarium. I find that when the light is raised, it kind of just helps like spread out the lighting. It's less intense. We see a lot less algae and it, I feel like it just replicates sunlight to a better ability. Does that make sense? So just think about that. And maybe you even buy a light with like an extender or, you know, it really kind of depends your setup. Well guys, that's it. How to set up a planted aquarium. Hopefully this helps you. Um, please leave me a comment below. Let me know what setup you're planning on doing to kind of like experiment into this. Are you going to deep dive into it? Start small. What plants are you going to get? Where are you going to get your light? I want to hear from you guys because that's why I do these videos. Please consider subscribing. I love you all and see you in the next one.